Traveling is one of my favorite things to do. The road lies open before you like a blank canvas. There are so many places to visit and people to see. Having a ventilator does not mean you have to stay home. Planning ahead of time and taking time to pack a few extra supplies help make it possible to travel. Join me this week as I discuss some tips and tricks to stay in an hotel with a ventilator while traveling. Hotel rooms are often not equipped with a lot of electrical outlets. This means you may be scrambling to find the needed electricity for all your medical devices. For me, I have one plug for my ventilator, one plug for my heater humidifier, one plug for my nebulizer, one plug for my TPM pump, and one plug for my computer. Out of all these items, the only items which do not have a battery and must run on an electrical outlet are my nebulizer and heater humidifier. Since I only use my nebulizer a few times a day, I can unplug this device when it is not in use. However, to prevent my airways from drying out, I keep my heater humidifier plugged in and operating at all times. So this means in many hotels, I only have the option of plugging in one additional item into the electrical outlet, which is near the bed. In the past, I have been able to carefully orchestrate rotating my devices using one electrical plug and using the device's batteries. However, this was extremely stressful and required a lot of planning. To avoid all this stress, I travel with extension cords. Since I have a number of devices which need electricity, I travel with two extension cords. This provides me with the ability to use electrical outlets across the room or in the bathroom. I am also not afraid to unplug devices which the hotel has plugged into the electrical outlets. In this hotel room, I unplugged a lamp and television to give me the needed electrical outlets for my machines. If you use distilled water in your heater humidifier, please remember to bring along distilled water with you. Before leaving on your trip, measure how much water you use each day and then bring along enough distilled water to last you the entire trip. If you're going on an extended journey, you can always buy distilled water during your adventure at a grocery store or pharmacy. But please remember, if you're going to a secluded or rural area, finding distilled water may be a challenge. So please plan accordingly. When I travel, I always pack a separate bag full of all my respiratory supplies. I pack an extra tracheostomy tube extra water chamber, an extra heated circuit, an extra non-heated circuit, HMEs, tracheostomy tube holders, saline for my nebulizer, my nebulizer machine, gauze, air filters, etc. Although you could pack these items in a suitcase with your clothes, I always place these items in their own separate bag. This way, when I'm traveling, I can easily find my respiratory supplies quickly and do not have to unpack an entire suitcase just to find one item. Hotel rooms are often small spaces. Traveling with medical equipment means your hotel room can quickly become an obstacle course. To prevent this from happening, here are a few tips. I try not to use large tote bags or suitcases when packing because items can easily get lost in large luggage. When you get to your hotel, you will most likely have to empty your entire bag looking for an item and this will create a big mess. Instead, I pack many small bags containing similar items. For example, all my needed supplies for my TPN, my heparin flushes, saline flushes, alcohol swabs, etc. I place into a bag. Since the bag is small, I can keep all the items in the bag and can access the items without having to unpack the entire bag. 
My ventilator and heater humidifier has a stand. Although you can use the items without the stand, it saves a lot of space if the ventilator and heater humidifier can be stacked up. If you have boxes or bags, also consider stacking those on top of each other if possible. This will save a lot of room in your hotel. When I travel, I always bring along coolers for food, drinks, TPN, and medicine. These coolers take up a lot of space and can make a small hotel room even smaller. If I'm going to be staying longer than one night in a hotel and have a refrigerator in the room, I will unpack the coolers, placing all the necessary items in the refrigerator. I will then store the coolers in the car. It may create extra work hauling the coolers in and out of the room, but I find the extra space this gives me in a hotel room is worth a few extra trips to and from the car. When on the road and traveling, emergencies can happen. This means you may find yourself at an emergency department or hospital which may not have your medical records or know your medical history. To prevent confusion and complications, I always print up a document before leaving home which has the following information. It has the names and contact information for my medical suppliers, names and contact information for my medical providers, the name of my medicines along with the dose and frequency, the name and contact information from my durable medical equipment company and other important medical information. I place this document in a folder in my backpack. This way, if there is an emergency, the information can quickly be accessed and given to medical personnel. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Happy travels!